Hello fellow orchid lovers, it's Danielle here with a video about improving light to induce blooming in my Phalaenopsis orchids. So I wanted to just uh, give you guys an update on an experiment that I'm doing. Um, I have, I think it's a little over 20 different Phalaenopsis orchids and I really would like to see some blooms uh, this, this winter. Um, a lot of the hybrid Phalaenopsis orchids are um, kind of programmed, I guess you'd say, uh, to bloom, you know, in the fall and the winter. So now is the time that I should be seeing some spikes on these orchids. And as of right now, I haven't. And so I'm trying to do something slightly different this year to see if I can get them to bloom. So one of the things that's induces um, orchids to bloom or Phalaenopsis orchids to bloom is a drop in temperature. So I've been doing that. I probably can't see this. There we go. So I've been doing that. So as you can see, um, the temperature in my house during the day hovers to around 65 degrees, sometimes a little bit less. The heat just went off. So um, I don't know where that number came from. It's, I guess when the heat's like, well, the vent is like right here. So probably when the, when the heat is on, I have for, forced hot air. So it probably does go up to around 70, but that's usually the ambient temperature of my house. Um, but I am letting it drop at night to as low as 61 degrees. This is Fahrenheit, just in case, um, you're in a country that doesn't use Fahrenheit and you use Celsius. Um, and the humidity is around thir uh, 39%. I do run a humidifier during the day. Um, there is quite a bit of humidity here with, um, you know, the different vases with all the different water in it. So there's a fair amount of humidity. As you could see, it did go up to 61% at one time. So it does fluctuate, fluctuate, can't speak, need another cup of coffee. Um, okay. So a drop in temperature, um, does induce blooms. However, there are a few things I feel that are keeping my orchids from blooming. Um, last winter, I did only get one of my orchids to rebloom fresh on its own spike, not rebloom on an old on uh, an old spike. So you see here, like this orchid, she's putting out a branch from an old uh, flower spike. That's, you know, that's great, but I've only, I only got one orchid last winter to bloom on a fresh spike that she put out in my care. Um, a lot of the orchids that I have, the Phalaenopsis orchids that I had, especially last winter, were in a quote unquote recovery stage. And while they're going through some type of recovery or stress, they're less likely uh, to bloom because they're focusing on you know, putting out new roots and new leaves to try to rescue themselves. Like for instance, an orchid in this state, she's not going to put out blooms this year. <laughs> um, that would be impossible. And if she tried to, I would probably cut the bloom spike off because she really has to focus on, um, you know, new, new leaves, new roots, especially. Uh, so she's, she's very likely not going to put out a flower spike and that's, you know, normal. And I understand that. But a lot of my orchids are actually in really good shape. A lot of my Phalaenopsis orchids have really nice, you know, root systems. Um, you know, so they're not going through any stress. And so I was wondering why they're not putting up spikes. And then I realized that maybe they weren't getting enough light. Um, as you can see here, this is a west facing window. It is around uh, just after 11 o'clock in the morning and the sun is up there just around the kind of like the corner so this side of the shelves is getting light and up until this week I only had these two shelves up here so anything on this side of these two shelves was getting a lot of light and anything going back this way was kind of more into the shade. And a lot of my Phalaenopsis were more in the shade. They were still getting good light, but not really bright light and not for long periods of time. The sun, when it comes up, it goes that way. So in the afternoon before it sets, these orchids over here do get a fair amount of light, but only for about an hour and a half to two hours. 
So I realized that perhaps some of my Phalaenopsis orchids were not getting enough light. And so I decided to add another shelf here in this window. So as you can see, again, it's just after 11 in the morning and the orchids in this range are getting light already. And they will continue to get light until around four o'clock when the sun is over there and this post kind of blocks it a little bit, but those, you know, the orchids here will still get it. So they get a fair amount of light uh, for quite a few hours. So I put this shelf here and I put some of my Phalaenopsis, the ones that I think should be blooming and I don't know why they're not blooming, on this shelf. Now, as you can see, I kind of had to rig something to keep my cat <laughs> from eating them because he does that. He doesn't actually eat them. He just kind of chews on them, uh, case in point this little travesty here. This um, happened two years ago. So yeah, he got to that one. This is a cat, Leah. Uh, so we'll see what happens and I'll let you know, I'll keep you informed, let you know if this improvement in light um, triggers anything to happen. It may be a little bit too late in the season to trigger blooms. I'm not really sure, but I figured it was worth a try. Um, because I know that the temperature will trigger them, but also the light. They need really good light uh, to trigger blooms. So this is my experiment. We'll see what happens. Um, I also did decide uh, with this orchid that's struggling to put a little bit of um, food coloring in the water, like was suggested by one of my viewers, to see if these strands are actually... Uh, bringing any water to the rest of the structure of the plant. Uh, so hopefully in a couple of days, I'll have something to show you guys as far as whether or not the food coloring actually is getting sucked up, whether the plant is getting nutrients or not. Uh, so that's pretty much it as far as this video is concerned. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I, I, I am very limited as far as where I get good light and where I don't get good light. So I try to make the best of what I have. I really only have two south facing um, windows. Um, one of them is a door. <laughs> it, it is a glass door, so it gets a fair amount of light, but there's really no way for me to put anything in front of it. It's my back door, so it's very active door. And there's one in my bedroom, but it's right over my bed. So I don't really know how I would put shelves there that I wouldn't be worried we'd hit our head on. <laughs> uh, so this is what I'm doing. This is the best that I could come up with for now. Um, like I said, it may be too late in the season. You know, it's already December to induce some of these to bloom. But we'll see if it does trigger something. And uh, if you have any further suggestions, please let me know. Um, and if you have any questions also, I'd be happy to answer them and I hope you're all having a great day and I will talk to you all next time.